Welcome back to the Tidy Room Hanger. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the X Transbots Monolith Upgrade Kit. All the parts and pieces, the things that you can do with this thing when you get this upgrade kit. Now, I did get this that shows it. You can get yours there too. I'll have a link down below. Let's get right into it. All right, so here is the box. This is how it looks. It's got some nice, shiny looking print to it. That's that's kind of interesting. I don't know, it feels like it's almost a sticker. Uh, we do have on the side here, the back. Yeah, doing something, something crazy with all this. And then it does kind of show off what you can do with all of this and the different mode, everything that's in it. So standard box, but the interesting part is kind of the double clamshell, how it's comes in here like this with these two parts that's a lot of stuff that is just a lot of stuff and then loosely packed in we have the faces and the handles which it just all kind of fell out in mine but anyway we're gonna get into this so let's start out by looking at all these different faces uh, a lot of the faces look very similar so we're gonna kind of show those first let's get a better look at that. these faces here all have very similar looks to them maybe they're slightly different but just all of them look almost exactly the same, like slightly different in this one here, like kind of the top part of the nose there looks a little bit different, but such a serious, uh, similar type of expression. And yeah, these go to Motormaster. These are two more of almost the same super serious face. And all three of these faces here uh, are kind of like open mouth on two on the right and then the one on the left. Kind of an angry, angry face. So speaking of faces, here is the face that it originally came with and the eyes do light up. And looking at this right here, we have the two additional faces added to that. If that's a thing that you're wanting to go after, let's not block all the light. So one thing about these, they do have painted eyes. So when the lights off it doesn't look dead so I, I like the fact that they actually did that and this one looks a little bit like playful and this one looks still kind of serious I still like the original one a lot more and I didn't talk about that in my original review with the light off he does have painted eyes so he doesn't look dead inside and we get these these faces here too uh, these two look okay this one looks super angry and uh, I guess these are toy faces but yeah they look good and they're painted about the same. The shading's kind of... The lighting's not working on it. But this does look good. Since we will be forming another gun for him to hold in this mode, I do want to show that we can tab this section here of the sword into that piece right there. And you could even probably move it and lock it in place if you wanted to. I don't think it needs that much. It actually holds in quite well because, you know, X-Transbot's tight, tight tolerances. So there it is right there and you could do that with same with the gun also if that's the thing that you want to do they both do it and they both kind of lock in place if you want them to so next up let's take a look at these guns here and it's kind of interesting because they all look slightly different it's like from a distance you go oh, they're all the same thing and then getting a closer weight they're all a little bit different i like this burgundy and it has a really a nice paint to it so this looks really good and just look at that gleaming of the paint so that thing looks really nice this one here it's got some extra stuff going on right there to make it i don't know, look like it's shooting some serious amount of stuff uh, and they all kind of have like the handles that go down so that they can plug in so it works works pretty good with that this just looks unpainted at all i think these two are both unpainted but uh they're that one looks the simplest of all of them i think kind of put the handle down like that and then this gun here and uh, I love the blue. This, see, this uh, paint looks really nice. It's just kind of strange they painted two and the other ones they just kind of left. But I guess they just cast it in black and call it a day. Or One of them's charcoal, one of them's black, so strange. And then this folds down. Now, the whole point of this is for it to plug into right here and for all the vehicles. It's going to work that way for all the vehicles. But real quick, I want to say that this feels like an all-in-one set and they put this in just for the toy or youth version and i'm thinking that's probably what they did 
So, like, the average person, do we really care to have this in our set? I don't know. It's cool. It's interesting. But I think this is more targeted towards the third version of this Minasaur, which is the youth version, because it had it in the toy. But again, it's still kind of cool, kind of interesting, kind of neat. So next up, we're going to combine all of those guns together to make this gun. So let's go ahead and get right into that. All right, so let's build this. We're going to start by plugging this tab into that slot and it goes in like this and you can put those to the back like so next up we need to combine this piece here and we're gonna slide this in to this slot like so it just plugs into that now this is where it kind of gets tricky. You can remove this piece here, and you can remove that on all of them, actually. It, it's kind of interesting that you can do that. And then you can plug this in, like so. And then you slide this around to tab into these pieces. So let's get that all tightened up and tab this in like that. And then you can put these back on and nice and easy and then you can do whatever you kind of want with the rest of this stuff but uh, right now i'm just gonna leave those out to the side and then we're gonna plug this in now these handles for the blue one they went to the back and so you plug this in i think it goes in either way it does kind of go in either way so, I, I kind of how you prefer it, do you want it to go that way? And also, every one of these guns, you can plug the original gun into the top, so you can even add maybe a scope by putting one of the original guns in there. You can have a scope on this. I don't have them handy. The downside of keeping them in the box. Okay, so the gun does have to get set up this exact way. This piece has to face forward, or it won't hold in his hand. It just, it just won't fit. Anyhow, this is what it looks like. I mean, is it is it really cool? And here he is dual wielding his guns, if that's something that you want or how you want to go about it. And I gotta admit here, this is just a weird looking gun, but it's kind of a good segue into what we're gonna do next with the blast effects. Everyone already knows about these blast effects. These go under his wrists, but do they go in any of the guns? They actually do plug into the lower part of the gun right there. And this guy's starting to get top heavy, so you're going to have to adjust a few things in his knees to hold him up. But then we also have this blast effect right here. And this blast effect, of course, is made for the original gun. It's going to go into the tip, so let's go ahead and do that. And there he is with both of these and trying to get it all in the frame so you can see both of the guns really well. And all the blast effects that go along with that. So let's see how he looks with blast effects under his, under his hands. So these effects simply just plug right in there, underneath there. There's a there's a hole right here, and then the tab that plugs right into it. I think if you're going to display it this way, I think a splayed hand looks pretty good. Uh, you can do a fist or a splayed hand just like that, however you want to do it. But that, that looks kind of good. Maybe you can have a gun in one hand and then him shooting his effects out in the other. I know we did this in one episode. But yeah, it's kind of a cool effect. It, it's there. I do like translucent plastic on this too, so that's pretty pretty cool. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of fun. So the last accessory here is this little communicator. It's a yellow communicator. Uh, it comes from the show, but it's kind of strange because they did indeed say uh, it's for MP36. And I think it's kind of strange, sort of because they already made their own Megatron. So did they concede and say, well, MP36 is better and nobody has our Apollyon anymore? Or did they already include this? I don't even remember. They might have already included it with the Polyon, but there it is. It fits nicely in his hand, so you can tell it was made just for MP36. It doesn't tab in or anything. You just kind of have to open the palm up and slide it in there. But it uh, looks pretty good as he controls Minasaur, or the Mighty Monolith. Next up, what I think that uh, was confusing to everybody about this set was, do you have to have these parts to combine it? And of course, obviously, no, you don't have to have these parts to combine it. But, uh, again, it was a big confusion early on, and I didn't really feel like you had to have them. But now I kind of see it bulks it up and gives it more of a cartoon look. 
These are way bigger than I thought they'd be. I actually didn't realize they were going to be this big. But anyway, let's get to putting them on. So I do want to kind of show that prior to uh, adding these on, you can see how that looks. And then when you put one of these pieces on here, you kind of see how it looks. So it's kind of a the difference between the two. Kind of a little bit of a comparison there. It bulks it up and it gives it more of a cleaner tune look. There are holes that were there that you won't see anymore. They could have left this set out and not had those holes in place and it would have looked cleaner going that route. But you tab these two, these tab, this tab into this slot and this slot and that's kind of how that's going to pop on. And then we're going to continue working all the way around and build it on up. I think the side angle is going to be better for building this thing up. But same situation, we're going to tab it in just like we tabbed the other one in. And then we're going to put the spoiler, the despoiler on. Uh, just tab it all in. And then two slots, two holes. And tab this in. Let's just look at it, not look through the camera. That makes it easier. There it is. Same thing, moving up to the top here. And we have the same kind of situation on the top where it just kind of cleans it up and adds to it. Really, uh, not so much a lot of tabs to it. And it's going to plug in. This is going to this is going to slide into these once we have them on there. So that's kind of how that, this is going to work. So let's go ahead and get to putting these on. It's like a like a slip cover kind of deal. And we're going to slip the slip cover on like this. There it is. Somehow it seems like it needs to be a little, little tighter tolerance than that. Next transbots, tighter tolerance, come on. And adjust those knees to accommodate the weight. It's getting kind of tall. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Kind of the same thing on this side. When you slide this around, you're going to notice that you have slots and you have tabs. And so you have one, two here. Anyway, um, see how much cleaner it looks with this. This does make it look cleaner. You do kind of lose the color of the windshields, but I guess they're going for it. Yes, definitely more of a tune look. And let's put that on there. And then same thing on this side. We're going to slide this on here. Line that all up. Pull this up here. There's two holes in the bottom. And we're just going to tab the rear end into it and it's just really tight. I, I just didn't think it was going to be this quite this tight. There it goes. That's in there. Crazy. Now I, I'm going to kind of turn this a bit so we can see, but uh, we have this big old tab here and we will slide this tab into that slot. I'm sorry. But you can see that it's going to give it a cleaner, smoother look. And so let's plug this one in on this side, the other one on the other side. Keep moving it around. And then this is going to do the same thing as the other one. It just plugs in to the holes. Let me get a better look at that. I don't know how I'm going to get an angle from the top. So it's just got holes that it plugs into, just like the bottom. And there it is. Now, I do want to point out, it just kind of shows that... It does look a bit cleaner, but there is some kind of weird breakup in this part and a little bit right here. The color variation is slightly different too. But anyway, I mean, it does bulk it up and it does give it a cleaner look. So here he is with all of his upgrades on and I do think it looks good. I do think it does improve the overall set. It makes them beefier, bigger. It does look a little bit better. Does it look $75 better? We'll talk about that here in a little bit. But looking at him, uh, let's get some side views. Here's the kind of a side view going on and just kind of seeing him. I do think it does look a little bit more tuned, I guess you could say. And I think they could have had it still look that tuned if they didn't include parts, the upgrade kit. If they didn't have all those slots in it to upgrade, then it would have looked cleaner in the first place. And here he is with the other arm. I just, I mean, is it something that was necessary? It's really up to you. It's your personal preference. I don't think it truly needs all these upgrades. The $75 for this, all these upgrades, 
I don't think it's 100% necessary, but it does add a bit of a look, a bit of a value. But all along, I thought this was all going to get included in the trailer anyway, and we had to buy it separate. I got it so I could see it, and I kind of see what they're doing, and I kind of see why they did it. So, this has been the x Translots Monolith upgrade kit for all the extra parts and pieces to combine, well, to add to his combined mode. And some of the parts can be used in individual mode. Some can be used in the base mode that can be seen right here. If you want to do the base mode, I did not do the base mode. So what do I think of the set? I think that it does beef him up a bit. It does clean up his look. And again, like I've said three times already, that if they didn't include the slots for the tabs to tab in these pieces, it would have already been cleaner, clean enough, and I would have been fine with it. I probably will display this on mine, simply because I got it on there, I have it, I might as well. It, it, it's going to give it a little bit more beef next to the other ones. I thought they re-engineered this to be a whole lot bigger, and it doesn't seem like it's a whole lot bigger. But if you're one of those that likes to have different faces, different face options, different shoulder options, and those kinds of things, then this set might be for you. It might be worthy to upgrade. And if this is your only Minasaur, unlike me who I'm in on all three, if this is your only Minasaur, then you might want to just, hey, let's go all in on this and get every option that I can and every display option that I can. But I have to say I expected extra parts with the trailer. But I didn't expect this much. It just seems like a whole lot, eight faces for Motormaster when he already comes with one, a couple I think, and now four more faces for the combined mode, which I think is, that makes sense, but it's a lot. For $75, you're getting quite a bit of plastic in this set, but if it's up to you, if you really want it, if you need it, then get it. And again, I think that this was in the mindset to have the toy version, the youth version that's coming out, version number three, you got this one, G2 and version number three, which is the youth version. I think they had that in mind for this set to cover all the versions. And that's why I think it's so expensive. And that's why I think they went all out and did so much with it. But anyway, I did get this at Show Z. You can get yours there too. And I'll have a link down below. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have this, are you getting the upgrade kit? Did you already get the upgrade kit and you like aspects of it? Did you get it and you don't like it? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe to Durham Hanger. Out.